So you have four Joy-Cons lying around and you want a very simple full body tracking solution? Well, I've got you covered. That's right, if you have four Joy-Cons lying around your house, you can actually have a very simple VR full body tracking setup. That's right, with four Joy-Cons and a phone, you can actually have a very simple full body tracking setup with your left leg, right leg, and hip tracking with your phone. If you own a Nintendo Switch, but you can't afford IMUs or a base station track solution, this could honestly be the best one for you. While it doesn't track as well as Slime VR or Steam VR base station track tracker, it works surprisingly well, especially considering, you know, they're Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. After a little bit of tape and a few belts, you can actually strap these to your thighs, your ankles, and your waist. If you don't want leg tracking, you could honestly strap these for elbow tracking as well. Now they are prone to drift after a, a little bit. They definitely drift a lot faster than a basic IMU like Slime VR or any other Slime VR solution out there, or it just won't, it, it, it will definitely drift a lot faster than a base station track tracker would. Now I personally don't have any experience with base station track trackers, but they are still the best solution from basically anybody's opinion. With iMuse being a close second, like Slime VR. And using Slime VR's program, we can actually turn the Joy Cons into full body trackers. Slime VR provides a great resource tool to turn Joy Cons into IME based trackers. The first thing you're going to want to do is to grab your Joy Cons. Things you're going to use to strap this to your ankles, your thigh, and something to hold your phone in place on your waist. This can be something like a belt, tying a sweatshirt around your, your waist or finding different little straps around. Some, something, just anything where it can hold it in place. It can even be taped, just something where it can hold it in place without it rotating too much. Because if it rotates too much, it'll be more prone to drift than say having a actual strap and you know, Velcroing that down. Tape definitely does the job. Just make sure to tape it down well. And if you have hair on your legs and use tape, it, it's gonna hurt. It's it's gonna hurt. I'm sorry. But if you do end up using tape, which is actually what I'm doing right now for my thighs, don't tape it too hard because it will, one, probably pull hair off if you have very hairy legs, or it will uh, cut off your blood circulation. Now, I probably won't do that. I would still be careful, but it, it will probably hurt if you try and bend or flex too much. Just enough to where they'll keep the Joy-Cons in place without rotating, and that, you know, it won't hurt when you flex or bend those muscles. You can do the same thing with your ankles, but I like to put them on the side of my ankles on the inside so that way they don't, you know, hurt when I'm trying to bend my foot up and down. Now for your waist, you can actually use a belt to put it around your waist and then slide in a phone. Now let's talk about actually getting your Joy-Cons to work in VRChat or any Steam VR full body tracking supported game. The first thing you're going to want to do is to install Slime VR Server and the Slime VR Wrangler. The Wrangler will help you uh, identify these Joy-Cons as full body tracking devices. This will help you actually connect your Joy-Cons. Without this, you physically can't connect your Joy-Cons. Now note, for Joy-Cons, you will need a Bluetooth PC if you're doing PC VR. If you don't have a Bluetooth supported PC, get a 5.0 Bluetooth adapter, which is what I have. It is necessary to have Bluetooth if you don't, Get in and now let's get to connecting our Joy Cons. Go in the settings and go to your Bluetooth settings. You're gonna wanna now head over to your Joy Cons, the one you wanna pair, take them off of your Switch, click in the sync button right here. You're gonna hold that down until it starts blinking and you're gonna see the green dots and it's gonna start fl flashing. After it's flashing, you're then going to want to go back over to your PC in your Bluetooth settings. You're going to want to press add device and you're going to want to click Bluetooth or whatever it says there. You'll find an input, either Joy-Con L or Joy-Con R. R meaning it's your right Joy-Con, L meaning it's your left Joy-Con. It doesn't matter which one's left or right, don't worry, the Joy-Cons work. 
uh, whether the left one's on your right leg or whatever. And you're going to repeat this process for all the Joy-Cons you have or that you want to use. I have four Joy-Cons, so I have two Joy-Con Ls and two Joy-Con Rs. After all four of them are connected, you're going to want to see if Wrangler picks them up. If they don't pick them up instantly, you can use this program called Better Joy. Better Joy will help connect your uh, Joy-Cons a lot faster than it will. If, if it connects perfectly for you, that's good. But for my PC, it was a little slower to connect them for some reason, so I had to get this program so it would connect them a lot faster. Either way, you should now have all four Joy-Cons hooked up to Wrangler, and it should it should notice them. If your Joy-Cons are sideways, you can use those arrows to flip them upwards or depending on the direction you have your Joy-Con strapped onto you. If your Joy-Con is strapped sideways onto you, you can flip them sideways or if they're strapped upwards like mine, you can flip them upwards. This is a pretty big deal if you want the best tracking possible. So once you get the direction all hooked up, you're now want to go on to Slime VR. Run through the setup of Slime VR and you should be taken to the tracker adjustment. The tracker adjustment is where you're going to put where your trackers are on you. Now, you're going to want to strap those Joy-Cons to your body. On me, I have one Joy-Con on my left ankle, one Joy-Con on my right ankle. I also have one Joy-Con on my left thigh and one Joy-Con on my right thigh. I then have a belt strapped to my waist with a phone tucked into here. Now, you don't want it too tight because the phone upwards might accidentally hurt you if you go to bend forward or something. I do not recommend putting your phone tracked right near your uh, hip because if you bend it's gonna hurt and it's gonna press into your body so I recommend going with your uh, waist. Now you could use your phone instead of a Joy-Con for your thigh but and use a Joy-Con for your waist but I feel like just having Joy-Con tracked legs and just it makes it all more streamlined. Now to track your phone you're actually gonna want to get OWO track. OWO track will help you connect your PC and your phone for IMU based tracking on your phone. This is available both on Android and iPhone, but I have an iPhone, so I'm gonna go and show you what it looks like on iPhone, but it should be relatively the same on Android. On OO Track, you're gonna see a connect tab. It's gonna show where you need to put an IP and your port. Don't worry about your port number. For me, it was 6969. <laughs> 6969 was the perfect port number. I, I guess it just sets it for you. I don't even think it really matters, but what does matter is your IP address. To find out your IP address, you're gonna wanna go onto your settings on PC, and you'll wanna go to your network settings. Click properties on the internet you're currently connected to, and scroll down till you see IPv4 address, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and type out the IPv4 address that's on your PC onto the connect portion for the IP on OOTrack. Once all your info's typed in, you're gonna wanna press connect. It should now say connected after a hot minute and you're now connected to your PC. This should now show up as an IMU tracker inside of Slime VR. All your trackers are going to be shown as IMU trackers. These are basically your now Slime VR trackers. To find out which one's which, you're going to want to take the Joy-Con or your phone and move it around a little bit and it'll glow purple if it detects that tracker is moving. So if your right ankle is attached with a Joy-Con, move your right ankle and it will glow purple. You can then take that IMU tracker and assign it to your right ankle. Then do the same with your left ankle, your left thigh, and your right thigh. And then you can also do the same with your waist. Now that that's all connected, you're going to want to do your mounting properties. Your mounting properties, I don't know what it does, but it help, It definitely helps. It'll have you in a skiing pose with your arms slightly bent. You're going to want to do that because it's important. It'll also ask you to do a full reset. A full reset will have you stand to your side with your arms down. This will help uh, kind of fix the tracking problems you might end up having, and you're going to need to do a full reset pretty often. But it's super simple. If you need to do a full reset, you can just go here, click full reset, and it'll take three seconds after you stand upright with your with your legs in, and do not move your heels when full resetting or using your mounting reset. And now you have to do your proportions. I did automatic proportions. It is experimental, but it, it was really streamlined. All it does is it measures the height of every part of your body so that way it can accurately take the proportions into account when it's tracking you. It's going to ask you to do a series of recorded movements which are pretty simple and it'll even prompt you on your PC to tell you what to do. If you're on virtual desktop this is really easy as you can just view what's in front of you but if you don't have that you can always just 
kind of move your headset up a little bit and look at your PC screen. Or you could even use Steam VR Theater to see right in front of you. And boom, there you go. You should be fully set up. Now that you're in VR chat, open up your menu and you'll see the new option, Calibrate Full Body Tracking. Click that. As you can see, I'm now locked into a T-Pose. I hold my controllers out straight, click the triggers, and now if you look down, I have complete full body tracking with Joy-Cons. I can now track my movements with Joy-Cons. You should be able to squat properly, move your legs around, and you should be able to waste completely. And if you ever have a drifting problem, you can actually open up your menu in Virtual Desktop if you're using a Quest, click full reset, stand to your side, you should be fully reset, switch to VR, open it up again, calibrate full body tracking, boom. And everything should be undrifted, boom. You now have full body tracking inside of VR chat with only four Joy-Cons and a phone.